This is video number 13 in our series uh, four-ray analysis. A reminder that the playlist for all the videos is at the website digital-university.org and in this video we're going to take a look at a square wave function this one here where from minus pi to zero it has a value of minus six and then from zero to pi it has a value of plus six so the period of the function goes from minus pi to plus pi also notice that this is an odd function if we rotate this about the x-axis this side and then multiply by negative one we get this for example rotate this about the x-axis multiply by negative one and we get that line segment multiply this or rotate this about the x-axis multiply by negative one and we get that segment so as we discussed in video number one for odd functions they have no cosine terms so in our formula a n is zero and so is a zero a zero is, is thought of as part of the cosine term because if we had n equal to zero that would be zero that would be one we would have a sub zero that that's how a sub zero is obtained so for this function that is zero and that is zero now l that's one half of the period the period is two pi because it goes from here to here so l is pi so what we're going to have then is that we want to determine what b sub n is b sub n equals 1 over l the integral from minus l to plus l of f of x and in this case it's just the sine of nx because l is equal to pi so we just have the sine of nx dx and this is pi so we have 1 over pi going from minus pi to plus pi now f of x our square wave as we just pointed out is an odd function so is this as we discussed in video number one when you multiply two odd functions together you get an even function what that means for us is that this integral here is equal to two times over pi going not from zero, from minus pi to pi but from zero to pi and again we had discussed this also on video one that when you have an integral like this of an even function that is equal to two times this integral so here b sub n is this and then in the range from 0 to pi f of x is 6 so this just equals 6 times 2 is 12 over pi so this is just simply 12 over pi times the sine of nx dx so this will equal 12 over pi the integral of this is minus the sine and we'll have an n down here 
the integral of the sine is minus cosine with a minus sign cosine of nx x goes from 0 to pi so this will equal minus 12 over n times pi times the cosine of n pi and when x is 0 we have the cosine of 0 which is 1 and let's get rid of this, let's multiply through so we'll have p sub n will equal 12 over n pi times 1 minus the cosine of n pi. And we've had this crop up now in several videos, the cosine of n pi equals minus 1 to the n because when n is odd this is negative 1 as it would be here when n is even this is positive 1 as it is here so you have 1 minus negative 1 to the n So now we can say that b sub n, and that's the only four-way coefficient term that we have, that's going to equal 0 when, this, when n is an even number, because then we have 1 minus 1. So that's 0 for even n. And when n is odd, this is negative 1 we'll have 1 minus negative 1 that's 2 times 12 that's 24 over n times pi and that is for odd n so that is almost the end of the problem then what we'd have to do is use our b sub n that we just figured out up here so let's just make some room so for our square wave f of x is equal to this summation b sub n times the sine of nx. I'll say n equal 1 to infinity but this is for odd n. Even powers just give us 0. Okay and for odd n b sub n equals 24 over n times pi. So f of x will look something like this. We have a constant 24 over pi times when n is 1 we will have the sine of x divided by 1 plus the next odd number is for n to be 3 so we'll have the sine of 3x divided by 3 plus the sine of 5x divided by 5 and it just keeps going like that so there is our f of x this square wave here 
that keeps repeating itself. The expression for it would be this. So that's it for this video. Um, come back, join us for the next video. Again, we're going to look at the square wave function, how to expand it in a four-way expansion series, only instead of using the trigonometric form of the uh, four-way expansion, we're going to use the exponential form. And let's see what kind of expression that gives us. So come back, join us for that video, and we'll try and work some more problems.